Hi, I'm Danielle with Godiva Secret Wigs, and this video is going to teach you how to thin out a wig if it's too bulky. Now I'm going to come around so I can show you. So the main thing is you want to use thinning shears, which are this kind of scissor, where it has these little slots in between. You want to make sure you are not using regular scissors or you will mess your wig up. So number one, if it's too thick, you want to first get rid of the top layer. You never want to cut the top layer because then you're going to have these short little spiky pieces. It does not look good. So I'm going to just move that top layer now here so you can see a little better. So I'm going to just grab a little, like maybe, you know, quarter inch of hair and I'm going to put the flat side here on the top. I'm going to pull it over and I'm going to make a cut and you're going to kind of pull out like this. So here you see I took out some of the hair, but not all of it. And then you can go down a little bit further and do the same thing again. I have my little bit of hair. And you want to always do less than more. So here's my little bit of hair. Now I'm going to just put my flat piece on the top, flip it over, and make a cut. And you always want to try and cut really close to the base so you're not getting any short hairs. Now, sometimes when the hair is coming over too much, you may want to clip it up before you do the next part. So you can keep doing that all the way down to the bottom. But one of the main things you want to do is after you've done it a few times, brush it out so you really get the look. And you'll feel just a couple makes a huge difference. Now another thing you can do is sometimes the bangs might be too thick. So you can literally do the exact same thing on the bangs. So again, I'm not going to use this top one because I don't want short little hairs to show. So I'm going to do just a thin little layer here. I'll grab my scissors. Thin little layer. And again, this top part that's solid goes at the top. The hair goes over it. Get that hair out of the way. And I'm going to just cut right here and again pull it out. Sometimes if the hair is too long, you can't pull it out, then you're just going to brush it out, just like that. And so one cut makes a huge difference, but if she, your client or you want more, pull that away and do the same thing again. Flat piece here, flip it over, and right there by the base we're going to cut, pull away. So that will thin out your bangs. You can use that anywhere on the wig that's too thick. The other thing you can do with thinning shears, which is really great, is whether it's on the bangs, on the edge of the wig, um, at a layer, what you can do is actually take a piece of the hair, twist it, and then you're going to cut at a 45 degree angle. Here, here, you can cut a couple little at the bottom, depending what you want, and brush that out, and that will just give a little more piecey look at the ends, but, and so it's not too blunt. So you could do that even on the side. Say you had a layer, but it was looking a little bit too blunt. Twist. Cut. Cut. And the more time you cut at the bottom, the thinner it's going to be at the bottom. You're just going to brush. So this just gives you a little bit um, more of a flow and not so blunt when you cut it. So those are the main ways to use thinning shears. Like I said, you can use them right at the top. Just make sure you're really cutting at the base if you're doing the thinning, which is at the top or the bangs, um, or anywhere throughout the wig. But again, like I said, make sure you're cutting at the base. Otherwise, you're going to get these little short hairs sticking up, and you don't want that. And if you're doing the twisting technique, you're cutting just more at the bottom. You wouldn't start at the top. You would kind of go halfway down at least and do some cutting. So that is how you're going to thin out your wig if it's too bulky, or add just a little bit of texture. Hope that helps. Bye!